We've got to walk our talk. It is not a time to be weak. It is a time to be brave. So I don't know about how you're feeling about this month, ladies and gents, but I'm a little bit nervous. Hello, my name is Lucy Davis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be bringing to you the energy updates for May 2023. Ladies and gents, I hope you're ready for this, that's all I am going to say. Before I step into that, I just wanted to bring into your consciousness, I have a new event on the 16th of May, Emma Wright and myself, Lucy Davis, will be doing an evening online event whereby we will be answering your questions and channeling answers for you. If you are somebody who loves a little bit of psychic mediumship, loves a little bit of the channeling um, that I do and loves watching all of the energy bopping around in uh, my latest videos, then this is the event for you. The tickets are £22.22 pounds. So um, that works out to be whatever your currency is around the world. And um, it's going to be an hour long event. and We're going to be holding it on Zoom. So please do remember to book your tickets for that as quickly as possible. A side note from that, we are kicking off Self Love Club membership again. We are having the launch call on the 31st of May 2023. And we are just closing out in month number 10, stepping into our last month of the class of 2022. And my goodness, have the shifts been off the wall. It's been absolutely crazy. I've been having discussions with people and I am shocked at the complete transformation that has taken place in their lives throughout the program this year. Anyway, enough about that. If you would like to check out anything else to do with me and my programs, please do head over to www.lucydavis.com and you will find everything on my products tab there. On a little bit of a side note here, the website is being updated. So we are reviewing it. We are revamping it. We are making it much more aligned uh, with the way that this is going in the future. So I'm going to be very much focusing on the energetics and the health and the healing. Of course, I'm going to continue to bring these energy updates to you because I know how much you guys out there love them. It's like, when are they coming, Lucy? When are they coming? But thankfully, I've been able to get this one out before the first uh, this month. Okay, so the energy update for May 2023. March was mad, I think it's fair to say. April has been intense and aggravated. I mean, just ask the men. They are living through some really interesting times right now. And May is going to be utter mayhem. It's gulp, take a deep breath in, and let's go time. It's about to erupt. There is no turning back from here. I have been warning you about these months since early 2022. Now, I don't know if you guys were paying attention or not back then, or even over the last few months, if you've been paying attention. But coupled with these energies, and they are targeting the men right now, I'm doing a series of reels on Instagram and YouTube about this. They are targeting the men right now. And to top that off, as if that wasn't enough, we are heavily entrenched in Mercury retrograde, which means communication is a shit show. Technology is a shit show. <laughs> and why did we sign those soul contracts, ladies and gents? Can anybody remind me? So one of the things that came through quite loud and clear as I was channeling this information for um, us all um, over the last few days was if you are an Aquarius like myself, buckle up and buckle in. It's going to be a very intense period of transformation. Please note for everyone it will be. This is a take no shit energy. However, I was warned this is gonna be super intense for us Aquarians. <laughs> oh, the joys. <laughs> if these last few weeks haven't been trying at all in the slightest. So, you know, and one day I will share about those, but my goodness, if that was a walk in the park compared to what's coming, honestly, we have to buckle up, ladies and gents, we really must. So early in May on the 5th, of May, we have the full moon. 
which is going to ignite people's anger further. So May is going to be quite an angry, aggressive, agitated month. We're going to be particularly seeing the men not be able to balance the energies. They're going to be confused. Remember, these energies are designed to target the men. So May the 5th, now what's interesting, um, the last couple of days, everywhere I have gone, it has been five, 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 five. And I've been like, what are you trying to get my attention from? And then I was like, ah, it's the 5th of May. We've got this full moon that is going to ignite this feeling um, really powerfully within people. And my advice to anybody, if you, someone has been getting angry with you, just walk away impulsive and emotional reactions are going to get you in trouble they are going to end up in a battlefield I think that's the word they're giving me if you are being attacked or your loved ones know this will encourage your reactions it's time to take a step back take that breath that I was talking about a few moments ago go for a walk get out into nature Honestly, I cannot say to you guys, we need to really embrace and be ready for what is coming. It's going to be a feisty one. There will be a lot of endings during the first half of May. The old systems and beliefs that are so ingrained in the collective consciousness must be shed. It could be around anything. It could be about relationships. It could be about love. It could be about where you live. It could be about your job. It could be anything, politics, finances, you name it, everything. All of these old beliefs, these limiting beliefs, this out of date mentality, this chauvinistic, um, you know, derogatory behavior that is coming through some people, it has to be nipped in the bud. Now, what was very interesting, earlier today, I was out walking um, near a lake and I kept being told, May is the month to watch the water. Now, I asked very clearly because they've been telling me to watch the water for some time. And don't get me wrong, the water's doing interesting things. A lot of places are going into drought. A lot of places are having uh, water pop out of nowhere. So, you know, I've been watching the water for many months, but what they gave me when I asked the question, and I pressed them today, I'm not normally quite as bossy as I have been the last few days with my guides. And what they said is this could be tears. So it could be emotion. It could be rivers. It could be the sea. It could be streams. It could be any kind of water. We must watch the water. When I pushed slightly further again and I said, okay, that all sounds reasonable, but what is the purpose of this? They gave me emotional cleansing. It's time to shed that skin. Like all of the snakes need to shed their skin now. And I have used the word all of the snakes for a reason. Anybody that is not living authentically, anybody that is lying, anybody that is living a double life, anybody that is a Jekyll and Hyde, anybody that has multiple personalities, trust me, this energy is coming for you. Are you tired of holding on to someone who you are not? Like, I know people who are so tired of doing the old shit, but they go back to it because it's comfortable. It saves them sitting in their feelings. It saves them dealing with it. Are you aware of people irritating you more than before? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Definitely. Have you noticed that what you used to like to read now annoys you? The music you used to like is irritating. People who you used to want to speak to all the time, you're just like, I don't even want to speak to you anymore. This is the emotional cleansing that is coming to the surface. We are being shaken to be awakened. Now, a lot of people are being triggered by people right now and they are pushing them away because they are too freaking scared to stand up and fess up and face up to the stuff that they've been carrying in their emotional backpack for all of their lifetimes. It is not a time to be weak. It is a time to be brave. There are many people out there that say that they speak the truth, but they don't speak anything but the truth that they want to share. They're not interested in getting every side out. They're not interested in actually living their truth. 
this is what has to come to the surface right now. These energies are being shaken. In fact, it's not being shaken. They're being beaten out of us. Boundaries are going to be a massive thing. Now, I must say, please put boundaries in place very beautifully and lovingly. Um, I've put a boundary in place recently and it wasn't beautiful and it wasn't loving. So do not do what I did and get caught up in the irritation and the anger, the aggravation. I wouldn't say it was anger, it was the aggravation. Please, when you're putting boundaries in place, take a breath, go for a walk and then come back and then put the boundaries in place from a space of love, okay? There are so many intense energies pulling us from every which way at the moment. And we've all been hiding from them. We've all been pretending that we're not feeling them. We've all been pretending that we're, we're grounded, that we're okay, that our health is okay. We have been hiding. Everything that we've been hiding from is going to surface during this period. May is going to be mayhem. The deepest of the deep has to come up during this period of time. Shadow energies that you are totally unaware of will surface. What's fascinating is I've actually organized a couple of things over the next um, uh, over the next week whereby I've gone, you know what, there's certain things that I want to shed and I am going in. I'm literally going to wade in. So I've got a really quite um, fun few a uh, fun few weeks coming up of, you know, really getting entrenched into these energies so that I can just walk through the flames without any any risk of anything touching me. Now, the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to work on these things is because I am aware of it. I'm aware of it. Most people do not recognize or realize that they have these things to do, which is why they end up in these loops, why they end up going back over the same old things. May is not going to give us the let up that previous months have. You are going to get it smacked in your face. <laughs> It's going to be slapped in our faces so hard. So it is time now to say enough is enough. I'm taking my sovereignty back. I am no longer going to be led astray by X, Y, Z. Addictions are coming back up. People are making excuses. I've had a number of people reach out to me and say, my husband disappeared. So-and-so did this. This person did this. And it's all going out, on, uh, going out drinking, going out doing things that are the old programs. And it is, it is the pull to the men at the moment because they are, they are just about facing their dark night of the soul. The men are under attack right now. They really are. And with all due respect, unfortunately, a lot of them are not brave enough to stand up and look it in the eye. They are weak. Now, I know this is going to really piss off a lot of men that follow me. And I'm not talking about everybody. You know, you know who you are. Men are scared at the moment to sit with their feelings and actually articulate from a space of love, lead from a space of love. It's just not happening. What we're seeing is anger. We're seeing dominance. We're seeing control. If you don't do this, I'll do, don't, I won't do that. It's conditions that they are applying. It's time to take our sovereignty back. We need to breathe. We need to recognize our truth. The only way that we can recognize our truth is by sitting in our traumas and actually going, do you know what? I don't want to carry this anymore. I want to feel like this. I want to be happy. I want to be, and then actually go and live it. Not blame the people around you. Like take the ownership. Deep feelings and childhood traumas are going to be coming up. Everything that has been stored in yourselves over the years must be flushed out. That's the word they kept giving me. Flush it out. Flush it out. You can no longer think your feelings. It's not enough. You're going to be hit hard. You can't think about it. You must feel them. Put your hand on your heart and allow yourself to feel a number of the videos I've been putting out recently, um, women particularly have been messaging me and they're like, oh my God, I can't stop crying. I'm just feeling every word that you're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We have to feel them so we can release them. And all the men out there that are going, oh, that's such divine feminine energy. No, no, the true divine masculine feels and will process. The true divine masculine will hold space for the women to feel. 
not say sort it out, stop doing that, behave, do this. It's not like that. It's not about conditions. A true divine masculine will just hold space. I'm not saying you have to put up with shit, by the way, men, but that's just the way that it is. We should all see this as a massive opportunity. We can get rid of all of this trauma very, very, very quickly. As soon as you acknowledge it, manifestation will become far greater and stronger when you recognize it in yourself. We are being urged to slow down. We are being urged to slow down before we are forced to slow down. I see many people having heart attacks. I see many people getting so confused that their mental health makes them question whether they should be alive. I see many people getting you know, impacted by things and being forced to slow down. That could be a broken bone. That could be a car accident. So their car's not working. It could be any number of things. My recommendation and my advice to you is stop and do the work before it gets forced on you. A particular note to the men. You cannot hide from this anymore. Okay. Secrets are going to surface during the month of May. If your partner has been hiding something from you, trust me, it's going to come up. Criminal behavior will come up. Relationship secrets, politics, all of these areas. Please do not be surprised if there is a skeleton in your closet, it is going to come up. Mistrust and betrayal will be brought to the surface. It's like we're dredging everything to the surface right now. We think we've seen these things before. Trust me, we have not seen them before. Toxicity in our bodies need to purge. Now, what's really interesting with this is I've literally just finished a five day um, parasite cleanse. Um, I wasn't able to do my normal fast with my membership community for a couple of reasons um, that I'll share one day. Um, so I actually decided to do a five day parasite cleanse. I'm going to have five, day, five days off, do another five days, and then I'm going to step into my fast because my body should um, be fully recovered by that point. So by default, I'm purging toxicity. You know, I'm purging um, anything that is going on. I mean, I haven't passed any parasites as yet, but you know, like I'm, I'm still open to. I mean, I do, I do a parasite cleanse every year, so there shouldn't be any there. But my point is, I'm investing in myself. You know, I'm really, really putting a lot of value on myself. I love myself enough to say, right, you need to change your behaviors. Your behaviors are toxic. You know, your food choices have become toxic. Your lack of exercise has become toxic. Your words have become toxic because of whatever it is that you're doing. So I have said, right, enough is enough. I'm going to do what I can now. Um, I've been out doing my yoga every morning. I've been out doing my rituals. I've been walking like 15,000 steps every day. Um, I've been eating super clean. I'm back down, you know, to almost back down to my weight, like literally just in, in the last week, I'm back down to the weight that I wanted to be. So, um, you know, and it's literally just a case of I value myself enough to do the work on me. This is such an important period of time, ladies of gents, and we've got to recognize that we have to do the work. Greed, a word that keeps coming up at the moment. I keep being shown people and words and all sorts of things. And one of the key words that has been coming up a lot is greed. Now, greed is going to be under a spotlight through the month of May. The lack mentality is really going to create an energy on the planet that is going to create a lot of disruption. Now, many people, when I'm talking, you like greed, lack, how does that link? So, for example, if you're like, oh, you know, I want to make sure that I do this. I can't help that person because what am I going to get out of it? That is a greed and a lack mentality. I want it for myself. You do not need to feel like you are missing out, ladies and gents. You are going to be rewarded by your kindness. You are going to be rewarded by your love. Maybe you are being guided to something bigger and better by not getting your own way. Trust me, I am living proof of this right now. My business is just popping with the new ideas that I've got. Like literally, I've had more emails and more communication with people since my video on Monday um, on YouTube, that powerhouse of a video. I've had hundreds, if, if not a thousand um, emails and comments about it now saying, oh my God, Lucy, this is the best that you have done. That is the new passion that is running through me. 
you know, I want to help more and more people. And it's not because I'm going to get the money from it. No, no, I want to help people be their best self so that I can go off and just enjoy my life, bring my babies in and, you know, just live in the most beautiful space that I am choosing to live in. Investments, loans, banking, financial debts, all of that kind of stuff are going to be raised into consciousness much higher than it has been before. Do not be surprised if mortgage rates start to get adapted. Do not be surprised if all of a sudden the banks want to call your money back in. Like things are being brought up into the consciousness of how greedy we have been, how we haven't been able to be happy with what we've got. This is a massive slap for reality. Now, this is the next wave of awakening. People who are greedy, people who are all oh, they're focused on money, they are going to get hit by the public beating stick that is God and spirituality. There will be financial mayhem during May. There will be many arguments around money. Sounds like such a fun month. I bet you can't wait, can you? <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, I'm so excited. It's only a few days away, Lucy. Selfless behavior will be rewarded big time. Expand from a space of beautiful love for mankind. This is the way that we are going to create. This is the way that we step out of lack and into abundance. People are going to start to panic and worry about where to store their money. There is no need to do that. Please just breathe, be calm and trust. Be sensible, you know, put some money in different places. I've got money all over the place. You know, it's very important to store things in different places. Materialism is going to be moved into spiritualism. So we are going to go from a more of uh, this materialistic living into a much more carefree, um, zero attachment kind of living. Now, anyone clinging on to material things and constantly want to get more and more and more and more and more, you are going to feel some pain during this period of time. You may even experience loss of your materials to humble you. If you haven't got the memo yet that in the last three years we were supposed to declutter and to shed, then I don't know what rock you have been living under, ladies and gents. The last two months have been about decluttering and getting rid not buying more and having more stuff. Stuff brings energy. Stuff brings other people's energy. Like, I'm sure there are so many people on the planet that really don't get the way that energy works, yet they talk about it as if they do. Every single thing that you buy, every single thing that you, you have from somebody else, every, you know, everything that you do in your life is about an energy exchange. Nobody, nobody is too strong to, you know, avoid any of this. Nobody. Everybody's going to get hit with this. It's time to humble. It's time to surrender. It's time to face up to the darkness that has been working through you, whether that be materialism, greed, lack, whatever. It's darkness. May is going to be a huge transformational month of permanent changes. Now, when I was channeling this information, it was very, very interesting. I was told narrow mindedness, intolerance, self-righteousness, bigotry, infidelity, you know, um, texting people behind people's back, things like that, chauvinism. It's going to create a huge karmic backlash at this time like literally you are going to get slapped around with the karma stick and you are going to be like well why why did why did that happen because if you are still doing those things you have not got the memo that you are a spiritual being you are living in an out of date realm you are not tapping into the higher vibrational frequencies. And a lot of people don't want to, and that's okay. But don't be bitching and whinging and moaning or pretending that you're something that you're not. We've got to walk our talk. 
We've got to be authentic. Anything inauthentic, that doesn't mean you can't tell people to F off, by the way. We have to live our truth. We have to walk our talk. Business will be, you know, created and maintained by the leaders who come from their heart space and actually do what they say they're going to do. Create a beautiful, loving space to work. Offer support and love to everybody that works with them. Now, I'm really lucky. I have an amazing business. I have an amazing team that work with me. And thankfully, you know, it, it's just beautifully, divinely connected by heart. So I know that this is a reflection of the way that I live my life. Now, like I say, I often tell people to get screwed and I often trigger the heck out of people. So I'm not saying you have to be a silent little wallflower, which is what a lot of people think that it should be. It doesn't look like that. The true divine feminine is a warrior. She will take no shit, but she will nurture and she will be the best mother going. We may get an opportunity to shift old decisions. Maybe you, you didn't buy the house. Maybe you didn't move to that country. It's the time to potentially shift old decisions. We are switching timelines constantly right now. Something that you feel one day, the next day it's totally different. There are people that are splitting up right now that are destined to come back together. There are also people that are staying together, thinking that they're going to be together, that will split up. So please do recognize that there is going to be a lot of revolution, rebellion in our decision making. The truth is going to surface because it's the next awakening phase. We are literally wading into the next round of awakening. Now, I actually want to share a little story. Um, actually, I dropped my mum and my stepdad off to the airport. And on the way, um, I said to them, you know, uh, we were just talking about life generally. And and my stepdad said to me, do you know what, Lucy, there's a number of things that you've said over the last few years that we kind of like dismissed, but now we're questioning it. He said, your generation is asking so many questions that we would never have dared to ask because we would have been put in a box. We would have been told off, but you guys have come through to ask the questions and now we are questioning. And the most beautiful piece of it was they've taken the whole series, whatever that is of these and they are both open to looking at how to detox. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The time has come where they have gone, you know what? We did what we thought was right, but actually it wasn't right. So now we want to do something different. Over the last couple of weeks, last couple of months, a lot of people have been shown, they've, they've been given a little glimmer into what new earth will look and feel like. Yet a lot of those people have panicked as they don't know what comes next. Is it too good to be true? The old belief systems have then kicked in and have made them go back to old ways. Now, this is particularly happening to the men going back to alcohol, back to smoking, back to drugs, back to porn, back to narcissistic or angry or aggressive behavior. And it's only because this this energy is designed to attack the men. It's designed to target the men right now. That said, women, I, I get it. It's not easy for us either. All belief systems are going to be reviewed and blitzed into a higher level of consciousness for those who choose it. During May, we are going to see new innovative technologies, new creative ideas. Innovation is going to be a big thread as we step through this month. Do not be surprised to start seeing things that you perhaps thought would never happen in your lifetime. I see a massive um, spotlight being shine on shone on food production and agriculture. Sorry, my guides want to come through. I can't ever, I can't ever stop them when they want to come through. I can, but political mayhem, they're showing me everything is going to be shaken up. Everything is going to be shaken up. The food industry needs to be shaken up. Agriculture needs to be shaken up. There needs to be a revolution, a revolt, a, an up leveling um, uh, in almost in rebellion. We're going to see the politics turn into crazy behavior it's going to be crazy the focus needs to be on freedom and truth 
Now these energies are handing. It's like they're, they're giving a hand to justice. Justice is going to be served. Feistiness, I see feistiness coming up as justice is going to be served. It's about including, making sure that we're all together, we're all one, we're unified, we're walking in a particular direction. And we are going to reveal lots of secrets. Like I said, there's gonna be lots of truth coming up. Now, this has been a real um, area of passion for me through April, actually. And I didn't see it in the April energy update, but I do see it in the May energy update, which is fascinating because I've been speaking about this for some time. We are rebooting the fertility of the land. We are rebooting the fertility of the human beings. Like I say, I've been focusing on this oddly for the last month, very, very much so. I was always told I was going to be placed in a mountain to activate the fertility of the land. And I, and I truly believe that that's what I've been doing where I am in this place, which I channeled back in December 2022. I've been told very clearly that this is the place where I need to be to activate the fertility for everybody and everything around it. So I don't know about how you're feeling about this month, ladies and gents, but I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Where can, where's the pause button and when can we get off this roller coaster? Um, I've got a couple of recommendations for you uh, for this month. Journal. Journal to get everything out of your cells. Journal to get everything out of your mind. Like if you are a big thinker, get it out of your mind and start feeling. Um, I would up your self-love and your self-care. I've actually been having, even though it's boiling here in Spain I've been having um, some salt baths just to allow my body to get grounded back in I've been walking barefoot outside constantly uh, you know that's what I do anyway but I've been constantly walking barefoot outside I'm making sure that I'm eating the right foods I've really really upped my level of self-care I'm taking more time for me each day like I say I'm out on the the terrace doing yoga doing headstands doing everything that I need to do to get me into alignment um, to do this the last thing that I would really like to suggest to each and every one of you to do um, this month as we step through is um, breath work. Recognize how important it is to just stop and breathe, ladies and gents. Stop and breathe. Take time out to just have that moment. Just need to pull that forwards a little bit because the, I don't know if that's going to help, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize that the light was shining so brightly on me. But, you know, we need to be stopping and breathing, ladies and gents. It's really important that now in this now moment, we take the time to just, like I said, when somebody's getting angry or aggressive with you, just stop for one moment. I've just had a deja vu. As I just said that. Stop, take a moment, take a deep breath and then step forward. Ladies and gents, do go and check out my website for some of the events that are going on over the next couple of months. There will be another healing event in May as well. I think these are going to become more and more important as we step through. I'd also like to remind you that I am going to be in Manchester speaking on the 20th and the 21st of May at Charlie Ward's event. All of the details will be in the description um, underneath this video. So do go and check it out. Let me know in the comments how this video lands with you. And ladies and gents, keep an eye out for my reels because there's going to be some powerful, powerful ones coming through. Love you to the moon and stars, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.